Uh, Mr. Perlmeter from Arizona. Colorado, I'm sorry. Colorado. From the great, from the great west. Hey, I'm from one of them. I know. Um, director, and, and I appreciate um, your answers. I, do you know how many states deployed uh, National Guard units to the Gulf Coast during Katrina? Uh, no, sir, I do not. Um, we could probably track that down, but I, I, I don't understand. I don't have any off the top of my head how many actually responded. Okay, I was just looking at the report uh, that was issued today, um, and you know there are a couple things that that concern me. Uh, looking at page four, it says, "Thus, it is difficult to assess the probable results of these initiatives in improved." in improving response to a major or catastrophic disaster such as a category four or five hurricane and it goes on it says the national guard has traditionally been an important component of response to major disasters states and governors rely on their national guard personnel and equipment for disaster response however as we reported in january two thousand seven the types and quantities of equipment the national guard needs to respond to large-scale disasters have not been fully identified because the multiple federal and state agencies that would have roles in responding to such events have not completed and integrated their plans. So uh, along with what uh, Representative Jackson Lee was saying and the woman who stood up in the audience and from comments that various adjutant generals have made, I mean, have, has your office, your division, um, looked at the fact that we have a number of our um, National Guards deployed in Iraq and what effect it has on being able to respond to a Category 4 or 5 hurricane in the Gulf Coast. I don't know that we've looked at that particular issue. I'd like to find out what report that is, too, uh, where, yeah, where, who came from. Um, but, uh, but the we depend heavily, the states depend heavily on our EMAC system, Emergency Management System Compact. And, uh, and I believe you, I just didn't know what the name of the report was. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, I wouldn't question your word at all, sir. No, no, uh, it's the GAO report. I okay, I, I, the report. I, I just wanted to yeah, because I wanted to get it and read it myself, too. Um, but we depend heavily on the, uh, the Emergency Management System Compact between states uh, to share equipment back and forth. And we've, we've done that for years. The system has worked well. It's more robust now than it, than it ever has been. And, uh, and that's how we would respond to these disasters. And we know there's a lot of equipment gone. There's no question about it. Nobody can argue that. Uh, but there are still resources in this country to deal with disasters. And, and I appreciate that. And, and clearly, on a national disaster is going to require a national response. And I appreciate the, the, the effort that all of you have gone to so that we respond to something like Katrina in a much more you know, uh, thoughtful, methodical manner. But there's only so many people and contractors and National Guardsmen and women to go around. And, you know, this is a debate for probably with the President and not you. But if in fact we have something like we had with Katrina or Rita or the one that Mr. Etheridge was talking about that hit North Carolina, I mean, the, the bottom line is you don't know what what the real impact of our deploying National Guard troops and the numbers that we have to Iraq will be on responding to a Katrina. Yes or no, or answer it however you like. Well, first of all, I, I, I will, I, I'm going to work with, uh, with uh, General Bloom on the issue and talk about some of those issues you just raised and raised in this committee and raised behind me. Uh, but to say what kind of impact any particular thing is going to have on a disaster, that would be impossible to answer. I, I can tell you that you know, we do have the ability to move equipment around. We do have the ability to move National Guard around. Uh, and, and we will, you know, we are going to prepare for whatever storm comes our way or whatever it is with what we have. And we're going to make the, the best that we can with it. No, and, and I guess just a couple just factual questions. I'd like to know how many uh, National Guard units from across the country were deployed to the Gulf Coast for Katrina and how long they stayed. And if, in fact, as you're doing this process and you're preparing for a mega storm or a mega emergency, you know, what kind of National Guard effort you see as part of your plan? Those would be my questions. And if you could help me with those later on, I'd appreciate it. Thanks. I'll be happy to.